Lesson number two. Introduction to advertising. Lecture overview. In this lecture, we will learn about the reasons and benefits of advertising, as well as its goals. We'll also explore different aspects of advertising, including its various segments and touch briefly on its history. Why advertise? Advantages. Advertising is all around us. Even though advertisers may not personally know each consumer, they have information about them through research. Advertising can be more cost-effective per potential customer compared to personal selling. So, advertising is a more effective sales tool, even though it's not a personal interaction. Now, let's dive deeper into the definition of advertising, building on what we discussed in the previous lecture about personal and non-personal selling. Reviewing the definition. Advertising is the non-personal communication of information, usually persuasive in nature, about products, services, or ideas by identified sponsors through various media. Bovey 1992. Breaking down the definition. Communication. Communication is how one person shares information, ideas, or feelings with another using speech or pictures. In advertising, we mainly rely on two senses, sound and sight. 1. Sound. Used in radio and television ads, and even in magazines with micro sound chips. 2. Sight. This is the most important medium in advertising, especially in print. 2. As the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. Information. Information is knowledge, facts, or news, and it can take different forms. It can be complete or incomplete, and sometimes it may be biased or misleading. 1. What is it? 2. What does it look like? 3. How does it work? 4. What are its benefits and drawbacks? Paid for. When an advertisement is created and placed in the media, the cost of creating it and the space or time in the media must be paid for. This sets advertising apart from public relations. Persuasive. The purpose of advertising is to distinguish one product from another and convince the customer to prefer one over the other. Products, services, or ideas. These are the things that advertisers want consumers to buy. There are three basic types. 1. Perceptible. Clearly different in features like color, size, or shape. 2. Imperceptible. They exist but may not be immediately obvious. 3. Induced. No obvious difference, but advertising informs people about the distinction. Identified sponsors. Advertising lets the audience know who is behind the message. Various media. This includes newspapers, magazines, radio, TV, billboards, hoardings, and even balloons. Basically, anything used to convey ideas from one person to another in a non-personal way. History of advertising. 1. 1704. The first newspaper ad was published, seeking a buyer for an oyster bay. 2. 1843. The first advertising agency was established in Philadelphia. 3. 1882. A soap brand was advertised with a hefty budget of 11,000 U.S. dollars. 4. 1893. A famous beverage brand was registered as a trademark. 5. 1899. J. Walters opened the first agency office in the U.K. 6. 1923. The first entertainment program was sponsored by an advertiser. 7. 1947. J. Walter Thompson became the first agency to surpass a billing of $100 million. 8. 1976. Commercial television was introduced in India. 9. 1978. The first TV commercial aired. 10. 1990. The internet emerged as a new medium. 11. 1993. 5 million people were now using the internet. 12. 1999. Internet advertising exceeded the $2 billion mark. 13. 2003. Plans were made for TV shows with integrated advertising. This wraps up our introduction to advertising. We've covered why advertising is important, its key components, and a brief history of its evolution over the years.